So let's take a tour of Amazon Web Services, known as AWS. It's one of the world's largest cloud service providers, and I think it's really exciting. So, so just go to your browser and search AWS. First thing that's gonna come up is Amazon Web Services, and you can click in there to sign up for an account. Once you've done that, you can sign in and go to the console. So this is the AWS console. From here, you can access all of the different cloud services which AWS provides. What I think is really fun is to look at all the services which they offer. So if you hit that button, you can see a huge number of these cloud services which AWS provide. And there is all kinds of cloud services. There's the obvious ones like running servers in the cloud, file system storage in the cloud, relational databases in the cloud, authentication services provided by AWS, and logging, for example. But there's also some ridiculous examples that you probably wouldn't expect there to be a cloud service for. So one of them, for example, at the top here is Amazon Bracket. There's a cloud service for running quantum technology. I think this lets you simulate quantum computers or something like that. There's a service for running your fleet of robots, AWS RoboMaker. There's a service for building your Amazon managed blockchains. And if you happen to have a fleet of satellites orbiting the planet, which you want to control, there's a service for that. And it's called AWS Ground Station. So the point is that AWS is a cloud service provider which provides hundreds of different services. Each of them is a building block which you can connect together to build an application or a business on top of. Some of them do very simple, typical things, and some services do pretty ridiculous stuff. And this is really powerful because you can put these services together in whatever configuration you want to build anything.